Saving a screenshot from Unreal Engine is really easy. You just have to click on this hamburger menu here and then go to high resolution screenshot. When you click on this, you'll get a pop-up with some settings that you can choose for your screenshot, such as size multiplier, date and timestamp as image name, or even crop. Once you've chosen your settings, you can click capture, which will then save it to your saved folder. You can even click on this pop-up over here, this link, which will then open the folder for you, which then you can double click on your image to open it. You can also save bookmarks for points of interest. So as you're flying around your scene, say you find a interesting angle that you'd like to take an image of, so something like this. I can go click on the hamburger menu, go over to bookmarks, set bookmark zero. So now that's been saved. And let's say as I'm flying around my scene, I like this image right here. I like this point of interest right here. Hamburger menu, bookmarks, set bookmark one. Or even something like this, right? So we can again go set bookmark two. Now I can cycle between my bookmarks by either jump to bookmark zero, or you can use the shortcut, which is the number keys on your keyboard here. So I can do zero, one, two, one, zero. So I can cycle between my bookmarks. As you kind of find your points of interest, you can also change the field of view. This defaults at 90. You can reduce this to create a more macro lens effect, or you can increase this to create a more fisheye effect. So you can use this as well when you know deciding uh, how you want to frame your scene. So I've gone here for 40, which is a more macro shot, so I can frame something like this in my scenes here. So you can use these settings to kind of choose how you want to frame your screenshots. And once you've decided um, you know, how you want to frame your scene, you can then export it out of Unreal Engine. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how to make a small cinematic or like a video. So we're going to place a, a cine camera in here and we're going to animate it and then render that video out of Unreal.